LDG CEO Real. I'm tuned in on 20 Questions with Weezy. What's going on? What's good with you, man? Chillin', chillin'. chillin'. Boy, you the grew a couple inches out of seeing you, bro. Oh, oh, they grew. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't grow to see a year. I can't talk. Man, I feel you. Been man. short my whole life, man. What you been on? What's the news, man? Man, a little bit of everything, man. I just been chilling, bro. I like working. what you doing, man. Got the 20 questions. You know how to get up on this thing. See Weezy doing this thing, I man. I couldn't think of nobody perfect for the episode, too. Because there's been so much going on. Yeah. And years have came by and passed, you know what I mean? Yeah, we go back. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We yeah. go back, man. You we seen me back. from when I was right. starting with the, the mixtapes all the way to the hood right. story, movies. You used to call me for, we used to call each other for advice, man. We go advice, back, man. man. You been putting in work for a minute, too, though, bro. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, man. But you... You the one that put that work in. He, he, y'all, he the one that put... Don't believe the hype, man. No. Don't believe the hype, man. No, I was there. I was <laughs> there, I was down with me. I was there. Man. He, this man. You know what? Look. Before I get into that, how you start, man? Yeah. Man, I was, I'll break it down, man. I started off just battle rapping. Because people used to talk about my name. So how I used to get back at people, I used to talk about them back, but make it rhyme. So people like, oh, he battle rap. So all the battle rappers like, man, let me battle you. I'm like, I'm not even battling. This dude said, you know, he joking on my name because it's Lindsay. Right. They don't know how it's spelled. So, you know, they like, oh, he got a girl name. So <laughs> I used to just get, you know, humiliate people yeah. by uh, making it rhyme. So then after I did that, I had ended up making a CD mm -hmm. with two diss songs. Sold it for $5. That's 250 a song. Before Spotify I was selling songs. This is middle school though. Okay. So, because the dude, this was 08 because the dude, he had called me out. Long story short, we ended up battling. And then one day he battled me and crushed me. So I said, man, I'll be down if I ain't get paid for this. I'm about to monetize this. So I went home, made two diss songs. So that's what led to the mixtapes because people was like, dang, you should make, like, mixtapes, you should make songs and shit. Okay. So I just started making tracks. And then my cousin, Dirty C, you know DJ Dirty C, yeah. shout out to cuz. He ended up calling me like, bro, you need to learn how to do hooks and count bars. And I used to just stop it at, like, an odd amount of bars. I ain't know how to count bars. I wouldn't, right. you know, but that's how I started off. And that just led to all kinds of other stuff, bro. Yeah. You know, doing the videos, the graphic design. You was there, bro, doing beats. You know, now I right. just jumped into clothes because this was the only thing I haven't done. Right. I've been doing everything but that. So, yeah, I've been around for some time, bro. You was there, you know, man. So, so yeah, I made them. <laughs> Straight but up. I know, but I know a lot of people out there don't know. Yeah. So, like, it was when, it was, it was in, like, high school. Yeah. Like 15, 16. You right. Um, and you had made a status. You was being flown out. Mm-hmm. You was flown out by Russell Simmons. Yeah, Steve Russell Rifkin. Simmons. Shout out to Steve Rifkin and all them. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons was with Steve Rifkin. It was okay. Steve Rifkin. His son okay. was watching our hood stories, and he like, okay. man, my dad do this. And at this time, a lot of people was just trying to get close to me. So I'm like, he, he ain't. So one day I get the call from Steve, and he like, man, my son love you. You want to come down? And then... You know, that's how I met Steve, you man. Shout out to Steve. Cool man, dude, man. That's cool crazy. dude. <laughs> that's crazy. So, yeah. so you was really on your way. Yeah. You and on the, your way. And the, rapping. Right, and that's the thing. I didn't like I didn't like rap though. That see, I did rap because it was like a hustle. Okay. Cause everybody around me was doing what you know what they do. So I was just, right. you know, trying my best to stay away from that. I was trying to do everything but that. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna do these mixtapes. And then um, that's when people was trying to make me to be a rapper, but I was trying to make my crew rap, because you know me, I like the behind the scenes stuff. I like to do the producing, you know, the editing, right. all that. And the homies, they like, nah, we play football. We, you know, they was into sports. They was into other stuff. They weren't rapping. Right. So when I started rapping, then they rap. And if you look at my YouTube, I shot videos for like my cousins before I shot one for myself, because it was never about me being a rapper. I just knew how to do it. For example, like you do this, right? But you might have a mean jump shot on that court, and everybody like, man, you need to go to NBA. But you, your passion not the NBA. Your passion, that's how it was with me with rap. They like, man, you, you got to. So I'm like, well, I'm going to sell these mixtapes. I ain't going to say no to no bread. Okay. But that ain't my It was never my passion, man, right. the rap. I just knew how to do it. OK. You so, know. But you know how to do that, though. Yeah. There was a time when you, you was on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And you was making 
videos. Yeah. Like, like 2K video. Gaming. That's yeah. another thing I did you know was saying? gaming. You was, you, was, you was into the game hardcore. Ooh. You kind of incorporated that with your music. Yeah. With your music. That was marketing. I was doing marketing before marketing was like marketing. 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 It wasn't considered that, but it was my idea right. to be like, okay. Right. They like the songs on these game videos. They was getting like millions of views. Like right. literally these facts, like right now I got proof. You can look yeah. up, I got 500,000, 600,000 because it was more gamers online than it was. Right. So long story short, I said, bro, forget them listening to Jeezy and Gucci on these mixes. I'm about to put my music on there. So that shot my plays up and all my dad piss. I used to get on like top eight because of the gaming. Right. You know, so I was like, damn, that's the way to... uh make a platform for my music. I could put it on. I was getting more views on the gaming with my music than my music videos. Dang. So they was like, man, where's the song in the background? I'm like, that's right. me rapping. They like, what? Hell no. So I get downloads off of that. So out of them 500,000 views, I might have got 10,000 downloads off the song. Dang, and I'm 15. You're 15. 15. And I'm sad that I outgrew it, though. <laughs> but did you... So, you know, now in today's world, yeah. you got the, you know how you got like this your kid and and all that to collect like royalties. Was you ever collect right. royalties off of I was too young. You was too young? You can't sign contracts until you 18 mm. at that time. At that time. You did. Now, nowadays, you got partnerships. You got all these ways for entrepreneurs to get on yeah. top on their revenue. Time. But you right. talking about 2010 when right. LimeWire wasn't even shut down yet, brother. Mm. So mm. now, at the time, I had gaming contract offers. I had music contract offers. I had comedy video movie contract or like not movie movies but like people that was doing the same thing i was doing but on a higher scale right. where they could have helped me but my thing was i had to have a guardian permission to sign these contracts and how moms was teaching me was like man don't don't sell yourself you know what i'm saying you still young like don't let nobody have your name don't let nobody you know basically pimp you yeah you did so i'm like we could do partnerships but all the people show their true intentions when i said partnership because then it's like well if i'm partnering with you and you got a company then mm -hmm. technically i don't own you i can't basically pimp you <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when they heard i was on my 10 they go to the next person they could probably like manipulate and take advantage of but i wasn't going for it because i was never in it for that so 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 you is know? that why is that why you didn't sign the contract that's the exactly no it was actually uh well, yeah, I guess they was with Interscope. It's uh, SRC Records. That was uh, Steve Rifkin, which is Loud Records. So the reason why I signed that was because they wanted me to strictly be just a rapper mm -hmm. and an artist. Because everybody he introduced me to, okay, okay. they didn't know that Lindsey the Great and Seawells was the same person. So I'm rapping under Seawells. So they trying to talk down on Lindsey the Great, not knowing it's me. They like, well, we could take care of you better than that LDG company. And I'm like, I am Lindsey the Great. Wow. So when they like, oh, so you just don't rap. That's when everything shifted. Cause it's wow. like, well, we got this person to do this for you. This, the, the, like, they showed me the whole thing, and I'm like, right, right. you know, I appreciate it. But my homies rap. I want to do what y'all trying to do for me for them. Y'all yeah. could plug me with these resources. They weren't hearing it cause they just wanted to rap it off a of quick book, which I respect the game. No, mm -hmm. you know, like but this, yeah. and then they used to tell me like, oh no, you need to do more songs uh, by yourself without your homies in it. We just want to see you only. And I'm like, I'm not mm -hmm. in it for that, bro. I just know how to do it, but okay. that ain't mine. Okay. Uh-uh, that wasn't my passion, but that's why I said I'm cool. I was 17, and my mom's came there with me, so she looked at them right. folks in the eyes like I did, and she, we both said the same thing, like, I'm cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. I, I still got a life to live, you know? Right. Right. So, so where you from? You from originally? Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana, born and raised. You know, my whole family on the east side. I was born, like, and raised more by the border, by the Chapalokes and the Greens. So not technically the south side, but like right at the border where it's, it ain't the east, it's the south. You know, so that's why I kind of well-rounded with a lot of people I know, because I know people from this side, know people from that side, and that's why, like on my mixtapes back in the day, it'd be people that probably didn't like each other was on my stuff, you know? Like how Kanye did with, um, on that, was it Donda? Yeah. He did that with uh, uh, Ruga and um, Lil Durk, mm -hmm. you know? Them, that speak for itself. But. That was how I was. It was like, okay. so I was in the mix, man. But here, two six so my whole life, man. Cool, that's what's up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. um, so, so along your journey, man, um, who all did you like come in contact with? I know you said like YouTube, like you know you was you was getting thousands and millions of views. Yeah. YouTube, <laughs> who all have you like ran across? It'd be surprised, bro. 
I ran into a lot of people, but I, it's hard for me to really just on the top of my head remember it because I ran into these people just on random occasions. It had nothing to do with who I was. Like when I ran into real Rick Ross, I got a picture, he hold my tape and I got uh, his book in my hand. And that, like, we was just, I had moved to Cali and I was walking on the, the boardwalk and I was just like, hey, that's, you know. But as far as the industry go, you know, I ran into Steve Rifkins, um, Jim Johnson. Jim Johnson, the one who produced for, you know, man, Jamie Foxx and uh, T.I., all the Lil Wayne, Lollipop beats. So I'm in his little mansion. He gave me those uh, headphones, the detox, oh, okay. the detox. limited version, okay, okay. the limited editions. I used to stunt them mugs in high school, you know, because I was the only one with them. And Jim Johnson was the one that gave me those. Uh, I was able to talk to like Lex Luger on the phone one day, but I heard what his his price was for beats. I said, I ain't that passionate about rap, bro. I'll call you back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I ain't really meet a lot of celebrities like face to face, because when I was doing my thing, I really didn't have, I had enough money to say I got some money, but I wasn't like able to take this trip here and meet this person. They would have had to give me a handout and I ain't never asked for that. Right. So, yeah. you know. You so mad. Yeah, I was just like, you know, y'all see me, cause like even the All Deaf Digital, they did a documentary that was with uh, Steve Rifkin and Russell Simmons. Mm -hmm. They did a documentary on me cause I had won this uh, top 52 prize. I forgot all about it, but they ended up flying here. Oh, wow. That's how I am. Cause they was like, oh, you could come out here and we'll, uh, you know, make you look nice and all that. I said, no, I want to show them how I really live, man. Show the dirty. I'm not about to go out there fake like I have made it. I'm living good and luxurious and I'm still, I'm still in the hood, you know what I'm saying? So they came to the hood. They was like, you was the first person we really came to wow. your city. And I showed them where I'm at, cause that's just how I am, bro. I don't, I don't need all that extra stuff, bro. That's good. I could, look, I live under a rock, buy a pet fish. You know what I'm saying? Give me some Wi-Fi. Give me some clean clothes. I'm good, bro. I don't need no bins. I don't need no man. I want my family to have that stuff, but not me. I'm, bro. I'm good. Right. You know. Um, so, <laughs> so moving forward, um, you've been gone for a little minute. Yeah. You got off the scene, off of YouTube. Had to, bro. Off of the game and off of everything. I had to. On the hiatus. Yes. I know I used to call him, check up on him, make sure. Yeah, you was like, you alive, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like T. We, man. I know, I know. We had a. We had a tight-knit circle, we rocked in. Yeah. Yup, me, you, Timmy, Lucky. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Timmy, man. Shout out to Lucky. Shout out to everybody. Y'all doing good, man. Doing good. Boy, Tim out there. Hey, Tim out yeah. there. I'd have heard my voice on the radio a couple times. Like, OK, Tim yeah. doing this thing. That's good. That's yeah, good. No, for real. I always get positive. But yeah, I, I kind of, I remember falling off of that, man. I was like, what, what did it for me? Like, I used to go to Walmart. I used to go to the gas station. People will walk up to me, just spit a whole 16. And they looking in my eyes like, you the one that can change my life and get me out the hood. I'm 16, bro, and you're 18. I need your help. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, my mom could vouch for this, bro. We was at Subway. This dude, I don't want to put him out there, bro. Right. But he's still banned from Subway because he hopped over the counter to get my number, man. And at this time, I was, like, Dang. really off the seat. Like, so I say all that to say this, right? I got off of that because I didn't like, I said, if I can't deal with local fame, Cause it was amongst my peers and people I was around. I, anywhere I would go, bro, I can't make it up. My homies would tell you like, damn, Liz, you like a celebrity. And I'm like, I don't want people to look at me like no celebrity, bro. That ain't my, I don't like, I like to go to the store and just be a normal person. You know, I like to go to the gas station, pump my gas without hearing a 16 or an idea that they got. It's like, I'm, that ain't, I'm not doing it for that. I just do this cause I do this. Yeah. It's fun to do. It's just I like to do. It's my activity. Like people be like, "No, we gonna do this." I'm like, "Bro, y'all, y'all stressing me out. Leave me alone." No, you know, I, <laughs> you know. I, I definitely can attest to that because I get that all the time. You feel me? I all the time, people come up to me and they be like, "Yo, Weezy, try to get in the studio." And they spit, they, yeah. they play songs. Like, yeah. Man, I'm just trying to cheat. I know they mean I'm well, like, yeah. and I'm never too good for nobody. Because like I said, I, I treat the janitor and the manager the same. I'm gonna say it again, bro. I treat the janitor and the manager the same. You feel me? I don't care who you is, what you riding, if you real, you real. And I wanna see everybody win. That's why I didn't wanna be in the spotlight. I'm like, I want the home. Just seeing them being able to go to school with me and people know who they is, that made my day. They was like superstar. We was like rock star. And it is high school, you know, cause our hood stories got on world star. So it was people like, yo, we, this one world star was world star. You couldn't pay to get on world star. Right. You really had to earn your way when I got on there. So, like, you got to imagine, we 15, 
that's that's the equivalent to being on like Vlad TV or something. Right. To our generation, like you yeah. know, so everybody recognize your face, want to get in good, be you know, you know what I'm saying? It's right. just that ain't me, bro. I ain't with all that. So I just intentionally um fell back when all dev digital, and I ain't trying to, you know, throw no dirt on them, but the truth is the truth, right? Right. So they wrote me, they said, look, man, I had put their documentary. This is leading up to why I left my YouTube channel alone. I left my YouTube channel alone because I don't know if you heard of like Spoken Reasons. Shout out to Spoken Reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he getting back on his feet, but they kind of did him wrong where they deleted his channel. We was under the same partnership deal. Oh, wow. So when I seen what they did to his channel, they was threatening me like, yo, take this uh, video off. We want it on our uh, page only, which is business. I get it. Y'all want all the views to go to y'all and the revenue, but this is my stuff too. So when they said it's going to delete my stuff, I said, okay, I got something for that. I just ain't going to post nothing. Right. So that way, anything I do, make I know y'all not making no bread off me or trying to delete my stuff. So I'm just now getting out of that partnership last year, 2020. And I was only, it was a two-year deal, but see, they didn't go and undo the... So I had to contact them and all kinds of stuff and kind of for, I don't want to speak on it, but kind of force it. And they, you know, they heard the message. They were like, all right, bet we got you. So they ended up getting me off. So now I'm a free agent. And that's why I say I'm going to come out with this brand, man. Speaking of which, hold on. I brought you a gift, man. Oh, I got you. Brought, brought a what? gift, man. I know you into the music. Oh, you know, we don't just what? do shoes and clothes. What? We got electronics right there. That's our Bluetooth speaker oh. on, up on the front. Oh. It uh, charge your phone without the cord. So it got a wireless charger on top, plus it's a speaker, handheld, you know, so you ain't walking around like the boombox, man, with this big old gadget. Yeah, that's him right there, man. Now these, these my, uh, <laughs> I call them, these the, these the real speaker knockers. Rest in peace to speaker knockers. Okay. But, uh, yeah, these the Beast by Re-Ups. <laughs> Beast by Dre Re-Ups. Right. Let me show you how they work. They Bluetooth. They come with a cord for people that ain't trying to convert the Bluetooth. You got some oh. stubborn people out here. Right. And they got the charger, you know, it go for it when it go dead. Now, this the part, though. Hold up. Hold it down. It light up. Oh, it light it, up. And it mm. change colors while it's lit. Mm. Mm. Who you know? That's now, on top of that, it got a radio station, FM. I believe oh, AM, I ain't tried it. I don't listen to radio, I'm gonna be real. You could change your EQ level right here. So if it's too like, change, okay. yeah, if it's too loud, you could oh. go down, you need some more bass, you know, and there's uh, noise prevention, you oh, did. So yeah, soundproof in a way. <laughs> like you can't even hear, yeah, you know, it, it, noise cancel. That's the word I was looking for. Right. So yeah, that's that's for you, my brother, you know what I'm saying? For all the work you to put oh, into the yeah. city. Go ahead, okay. keep, keep all this in the box so you don't lose it. Don't ask me no questions, because the instruction's right there. <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, man, you know I had to show love, man, give back, because, man, enough about me real quick, man. This dude right here, Weezy, man, you've been putting in work for so long, man. Man. Yeah, it's been Before Pro Tools was Pro Tools. Man where everybody know what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? You was right. really originated in all this stuff, man. Man, bro, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember, like, I was on the uh, FL studio now. Yeah. We, before it was that, it was called Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops, yep. Yeah, you know, yeah, Fruity Loops. I was, I was just playing around. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I was still taking it serious at that time. Yeah. Um, But I just progressed, you know what I'm saying? I seen it. Then I... Then I had got with Timmy the Hitman, you know what I mean? In high yeah. school. Uh, but that was a, a that was a good collab. Yeah, good collab, you know what I mean? Good collab, man. Y'all you know I mean? both, um, man. But I was a rapper first, you mm. know what I mean? Before I was into the beats and all that. <laughs> but I was like, uh, uh, I had a rap. I feel you. I'm, I'm more behind the scenes. I'm the same here, man. I took way with that, and then here I am now. I'm working with. Artists, major artists, labels, and whatnot, doing podcasts and videos and everything. Like, everybody come to me because they know I'm one, I'm genuine. Mm -hmm. Genuine. Two, I don't play around. And three, they know I'm going to make sure everything right. Like, All the know, time. I could look, I could vouch for that. He be on your ass, man. That's why when I told Weasel, don't call me until I'm ready, bro. Because he going to call, man, you get it done yet? 
<laughs> you supposed to do that? I'm like, Weezy, man, hold on, man. But he gonna get on your ass and make sure it's done. You know what I'm saying? You Weezy, sure hey, done. you been doing this for a minute. And like you said, I remember the conversations where it's like, man, how you do this? How you do this? How you do this? Now you on that. Bro, you done figured it all out. Yeah, yeah I did. And, they, and now, now I got people coming. What? Like, like, bro, Same thing. That? Yeah, yeah. But I tell them, I don't, I don't hide the knowledge. That's how it's supposed to because, be. Because, I mean, why would you hide the knowledge? You yeah. Know? I don't want to leave no knowledge out there that's and accessible if I have it. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's all about showing love in the community. And I'll do you better because, like, some people want the exact source, right? Yeah. But if I give you a fish sandwich, it's only going to be good for that moment you eat that sandwich. You're going to be hungry again. So I'm going to teach you how to catch the fish. Right. So if people come in, who yo, who yo? I'm like, bro, do what I did. Search this. Because you're going to probably find something better than me. Man, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You might not want to go off of my people and all that. I'm going to show you how I did it. Right. So then you might run into mines, and you're going to find something better instead of trapping you into what I know. Yeah. You dig? I'm going to teach you how to how to get it. How to get it. How to get it, not, right. you know what I mean, what I got. And that's how I am. I'd rather you teach know? you how to get it than me just giving it to That's you. the best knowledge. And then, yeah. But some people still get mad at that. They, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you don't want to tell me, like, bro, I'm telling you how to fish, man. Right. Now, I can make this sandwich if you want, but you going to come back to me next week, and I ain't going to have no more sandwiches. Right. Now what we going to do? <laughs> exactly. Now what we going to do? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, so that's just, that's just how I am, man. Yeah. That's how I am with anything. So, yeah, yeah bro. It's that's... always about, it's, you know, look, it's, I'm always about showing love. Yeah. So I always support, you know what I mean? I don't hate on nobody. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause it, it ain't no room for hate in my heart. You know what I mean? My heart is pure. I want to see everybody know me. Yeah, you know me mean? too, man. That's... I don't talk down on nobody. I don't, I don't pray for nobody down for all or nothing. Yeah. Because I know my time going to come. Even though, even though some people, this may not even be that big. But mm -hmm. I see the bigger vision in this. Yeah. It's a bigger vision in, in everything that I do. I always do with a purpose and a plan. So if I'm doing this to provide for that, to get to this level, to get there, then no, it's, it's going to happen because I'm going to make it happen. Because you see it. I see it. Some people just ain't patient enough. Oh, yeah. They say the greatest prayer is patience, man. Yeah. Like, patience got me here, because I wouldn't have thought that I'd be doing clothes and stuff. You'd have talked to me, like I said, 10 right. years ago. I'd have been like, man, I'm going to be a rapper. Be a rapper. <laughs> I laugh at it now. No disrespect right. to rappers, because oh, yeah. I love, that was my first love, man. I love rappers, you dig? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you couldn't have told me I'd have been doing right. what I'm doing, doing knowing I should have been doing it, because right. I've always been into fashion anyway. Right. Like, at my school, they could vouch for you. Anybody with the lakeside, from 07 to 08, I used to do this thing called Pink Friday, bro, mm. where they let us wear any, you know, lace I had dress code. Right. So they say you can wear any color. Long story short, you know, at the lunch table, everybody got they bad chick they talking about. Yeah. So they like, man, who the baddest uh, Hispanic? Who the baddest black girl? Who the baddest white girl? So I, I got one of each race of the baddest chicks in the school. I said, wear pink with me on Fridays. Mm. And this at a time, you, they used to pick on you for wearing pink, you know, right, right, yeah. you know. So then I did that, bro. Everybody in the school started wearing pink on Fridays from the teachers, even my bus drivers, the homies, like the whole school was an unforbidden rule. Like, wow. unwritten rule, like, bro, if you don't wear pink on Fridays, you ain't popping. So when I seen that, I should have knew, like, bro, I should be doing fashion. But I feel like when you on God time, bro, it's different. Like, let's say I picked up on that fashion back then. I would have never got into music. I'd have never got into beats, doing the gaming, doing the uh, cover design and all that, you know, graphic design, I wouldn't have been doing nothing extra. Yeah. Cause I'd be like, this is it, this is my niche, this is what I'm about to do. So yeah. sometimes you gotta go through other stuff before you get to your real purpose, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember how young we is too. We still in our right. 20, we ain't, like I talk to 40 year olds, they be like, you ain't even hit 35 yet. That's when you really, you right. know, but society got us trained to be millionaires at 21. Oh, right, but got people man. acting crazy over bread. Like, oh, I gotta have a mansion at 21. Like, bro, chill out, man. Right. Be on That's God's good. time, man. You gon' right. You gonna get there. You gonna be straight, man. Right. Life. Life is a journey. Yeah. Life is a marriage. You said it best, man. No, no, you, said it best. you did. You did. Life is a marriage. Yes, sir. Then I got some, uh, I got some new releases I had dropped on my birth. Oh, I said my birthday, my anniversary for Rio, right? Right, right. First thing Ooh. first.
everybody, man, it's the it's that that young uh, fifty boy right here. <laughs> okay. We, we got a, a re up. The yeah, re up for two tone checker. Now anybody that know me personally know I always had like an obsession for furs, bro. Right. So I always wanted to come out with my own fur. So it's just, yeah, man, because I used to watch them had a dip. They used to have a dip set furs, right, man. Right. The dip, oh, like, bro, oh, I want my own fur oh, coat, oh, man. So I ended up getting the fur <laughs> joint right okay. here. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, what else we got? Inspiration for real. I got some stuff, man. I end up. And how I'm gonna show you how I be doing this stuff. Like this started off all white, bro. Oh, wow. I had to go find the, you know, the khaki, the wheat, put the re up. Right. I put the checker on there myself. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this stuff, it be from scratch, bro. Okay. So I actually design this stuff myself. I just don't make it. Like, I got vendors, because most of my designs, people that I'm in contact with or close to, they really don't know how to do what I'm trying to do, which I get it, because, like, even this jacket I made, like, I don't know nobody that can, well, unless I just haven't looked hard enough. If y'all can do it, holla at me. Anyway, you know how I went around the cuffs, you know, went around the waist, yeah. design on the hood and all that, like, hard. you know what I'm saying? Like, hard. I wanted something deeper than just a logo on a oh, on shit. a press machine, man. You know, got the, you yeah. feel me, got the checkers on it. As you can see, I got a thing for checkers, man. Oh, yeah. Cause I got the checker fire with the checker windbreakers. Now, this the Diddy right here, hold on. I broke, this that Diddy right here, got that all white. Well, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's we. Hard. Getting ready. See, my specialty is the winter, man. I'm trying to get on the summer like how I do the winter. Yeah, yeah. That's why I came out with like these polos. Shout out to Twin, man. He sure. he broke these out, man. We got these mm. in plus sizes, mm. you know. That polo hole. Yeah, a little something, a little polo. jean joint, you know. And like I said, I just be bored at the... Too, it, it ain't like no like regular polo. And guess what? The tags say re up. They don't hey, say man, no say fruit me. lube or gilding. No disrespect to the gilding, because I ain't, I ain't forgot where I came from. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We making all, hold on, you know I ain't forget about the ladies real quick. Let me show you what I have for the ladies. Uh -huh. We coming out this spring and this summer with the, okay. with the, with the, with the biker shorts. Really? We got the, we got the booty shorts too, but I ain't okay. got them on hand right now. We got the growth right, sets, right. you know right. what I'm saying? Okay. We got them in, uh, we got them in roses too. Hold on, hold on, let me show them the rose, let me show them the rose. Mm. Everybody don't like sunflowers, so you That's know. Hard. We got the. <laughs> We got the roses. Hold on, hold on. Let me show them. We got the Fort Wayne shirts, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come out on the festival next year with these, man. Let them holla at that real quick. Then I gotta show them, uh, I do like visors and stuff. I did this bucket head, of course, but you know, I do the little visors, little, little, little growth visors. Hold on, hold on. You see, you got the, the slide up there. Oh, I got the women's slides too, the growth slides. You know what I'm saying, so. Yeah, man, pretty much well-rounded. That's why, I like, yeah. within this year, I just wanted to push out so much stuff because I didn't want them to get stuck on that. We just a, right. a clothing brand. Like, we just a brand in general. We coming out with so, anything. We could put our logo on. Yeah, but are you, are you going to, like, get a building, like, for your That's school? the thing. Like, 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 of course. Of course that's the goal to get a building. But, like, right now I'm filling up the closet. Because okay. if I'd have got a building five months ago, I would have felt like I ain't got nothing I feel that right. is worth putting in a a clothing store. I was just trying to get stuff out there first to pump it out, doing simple stuff. Mm -hmm. But like now, I feel like, okay, I got some summer stuff, I got some winter stuff. If I come out with a store today, I feel good. But I mm. still feel like I ain't came out with my best work yet. Mm. I still feel like, like this impressed me right here. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I actually wear this jacket like for real, for real. That jacket is great. For real, I, I, I rocks with this. But I still feel like it's a, some more projects I wanna come out with before I come out with the store. And then, you know, once I come out with that store, that's it, bro. But right now, I'm about to focus